So eight years ago, just uh, after we had gotten Lawrence, I decided to invest in this Jujube BFF diaper bag. It was great because it had pockets that are insulated on each side, keep sippy cups, you know, nice and cool or nice and hot. It has the mommy purse here, which had a key fob, had an inner pocket here. I used to have a business card holder it's in my closet somewhere, and then another pocket here, and then it had a sunglasses pocket here that could flip out, and then a zipper pocket here. It was great, I had so much stuff in here. And then it has this little pocket here, which is this also soft fabric, just like the one for the sunglasses. <clears throat> this is best for, not safety pins, but best for phones. And my iPod, I used to put that in there. And then it has this really large opening here. And inside that, I had some pictures of the kids, and I had I always kept their vaccine books in this or any extra notepad. I also had purchased the matching wallet and I had a passy pod, which is for their pacifiers. I also had um, the bib and then I used to just keep my cosmetics in this dollar store bag. And I had stuff in this pocket and stuff in that pocket. Actually, I used to keep this, this bag used to fit down there nicely. And then I had diapers in this one and wipes in that one and I used to keep a whole little first aid pack back here a little square thing I got at the dollar store band-aids and ointment and stuff in it and then like bedroom hygiene products were in that zipper pouch and then you still had all this space for changes of clothes and my wallet or whatever else I sprayed that day and then when you turn it around <clears throat> it had a changing pad in here and um, it had like the same lining as the uh, the bag and the same print on the other side. And I also had, uh, or have, still, a little um, business card holder on there, my old uh, old picture on there. And it has backpack straps, and it had um, D-rings here you hook it onto the stroller, or you could put a, um, a big strap and carry it around like a big briefcase or messenger bag. But I've been using this for all this time, and then it started to wear here. And I, I think I'm gonna see if I can get it repaired. But um, I just found it, it sat a bit low on my back because this part, you really weren't getting the, the strap part until, you know, several inches out. So I thought I would go after a new Jujube bag. I thought, you know, I know they're expensive, but I've had this one for eight years. So we're probably good to, to invest in another one. So then I got this one. And of course, I don't have kids in diapers anymore. My three-year-old is mercifully potty trained now, but I wanted this for work. And it also comes with a changing pad, which I did tuck into this bag because I don't need that anymore. And the changing pad actually was in this access hatch on the back, which I was really hoping would fit my laptop, but it's just a just a tiny smidge too small, but it would totally fit an iPad. It's a, it's a, it's a really big space. Actually, I got mail in there, I got a mail. <laughs> just remembered. And of course, <laughs> the strap goes right to the very top. So when I wear it, it's, it's quite nice and secure. Plus this one has some, um, some nice contoured straps. And also they've got that memory foam padding and, and this memory foam padding on the back here too. And what's nice with this one is that I also got, you know, the matching wallet. <laughs> and it has this little pouch up here to just, just big enough to put the wallet in so you can kind of keep it really easily accessible, especially if you're going through your drive-through trying to get a coffee in the morning. And, uh, and then kind of hidden too, because when you zip it up, it, it's not necessarily the first thing, of course, very hard to do with one hand. <laughs> and I have this totally packed, so I'm going to show you what exactly I put in here. There we go. And of course, you can carry it by the strap if you're, you know, toting it around, but it's pretty darn heavy right now because I got this thing loaded up. So, of course, I have my two pouches. I always carry a bottle of water with our nice well water in it and my coffee mug right there I got from Ikea with the, uh, I have my Christmas card in there with the kids' photos. So, again, it has the same idea. We have a, um, a phone pouch, so I have my work Blackberry and I have my iPod in here and I keep my cell phone in here too, my iPod, uh, my iPhone which I'm using to film this video right now. So this has this little magnetic pouch. There's a, a little plastic thing here also for a photo but I just put my eyeglass cleaner in there for now because I don't really have a photo of all three kids <laughs> in this small a format or maybe I do. I have to go through the Christmas photos to see if I have one that was 
uh, portrait size, but I just thought right now I uh, had to touch the vaccine books out of the other one and any other medical things like we have some testing to get done for Lawrence. So I put that in there. So all my medical kid stuff was in there. So I didn't lose that part, even though I took it out of the other bag. Sometimes you remove it from one place, you never remember where you put it next. So keep it on me. So this also has the mommy pouch. And I also got a, um, a B set as well because uh, I wanted to have ways to organize everything in here. So I have my, my work passes here with a bunch of business cards other people gave me or my own. Also another sunglass case here. And this one has a mesh pocket at the bottom. So I have also the key fob, I'll put it out of the way. And in the mesh pouch at the bottom, I just have like um, my earphones and uh, I got a pen and I got a, a pack of post notes in there somewhere. Post notes, oh yeah, and I have this insulated um coffee if you go get coffee at tim hortons or whatever and you forgot to ask for a double cup and they don't give you a sleeve i could just toss it in there and burn not burn my hands and uh had some uh splenda in there or not splenda but stevia as well and i had this little cpr thing where you can uh there's gloves in here and then there's a face mask and it goes over the little valve you can give someone cpr without actually touching their face and yeah, there's still some Splenda in there. So uh, yeah, that's what's in that pouch. And then I'll, I'll go through what the B-set stuff is later. I'll drop my keys back down there. And of course there's really good, um, really good zippers on this thing. I had no trouble with the zippers on the, the old one. So I'm going to lay it down because this one opens up completely all the way. I mean, you don't have to do it that way, but I'm going to now because I'm going to show you what's in it. So all the way down and I have my computer in here my laptop for work and then you can, that's the where my wallet is on the other side of the pouch there's these elastics here I see a lot of people put their baby wipes in there with the, the little plastic ones and you have the little opening there so you can just pull a wipe up that's another part of my B set <clears throat> that's my umbrella actually in this little pouch uh, here's the Bible I just went to church and then I have another part of the B set here, which I left this handle on so I can just pull it right up. And I have another part, actually that one's not the B set, that's, uh, I'll have to remember what that one was. Uh, B Neat maybe, I can't remember which one that was. It's the one that has, uh, it's a little bit bigger. This one's the last pouch of the B set, which is slightly smaller than this one. But I kept this one up here because oftentimes at work I'll run to the grocery store to pick up stuff for lunch. And I have my little reusable bag here, and I normally just get salads and tomatoes and stuff, and I don't want to carry my big backpack with me just to go to the grocery store. I just need to have my wallet and that bag and maybe, um, you know, my asthma medication or something like that. So, for my B set, it comes with this long strap. So I would just clip that strap on the other side here, and I would use this as a little purse. And then I just have my little, my wallet fits in there, and my little reusable bag fit in there. And, you know, that's pretty much all I really need. And I just take that out to the grocery store. And then when I'm done, I can just put the strap back in and then just put it in this mesh component here, which is really nice because when you have a baby and you need some place for changes of clothes or a wet bag or something, that's like ideal for that kind of thing. So, and of course there was that mesh pouch here that I had this part of the, the my other bag and this bag. I had wanted to use this one as the bag I go to the grocery store with, but it only hooks on here and it's attached here. So I couldn't put the long handle there. I'd have to carry it like that, which I, it's more like a clutch, but not really what I want to take to the grocery store. So I have my charger for my laptop, my mouse, my, I have a prescription. I have, uh, <laughs> you have no idea how much use I get out of these little Japanese fans. We had Japanese students one time and they brought really nice wooden fans for me and my husband. And when you're out somewhere, and like especially I found at church sometimes when it gets really warm, the AC hasn't cut in. I'm sitting there like trying to fan myself, trying to cool down. Or anywhere else you go that doesn't have the AC on. I have another um, power cell here. Got some hand sanitizer. Oh, I got my USB. This is like my technology bag. I have my USB st sticks here. And then I have a zipper pouch in here. I just have like deodorant and feminine products and any other medication kind of stuff I might put in there. And then in my other parts of my B set, this is one like my little blue bag I had in, in my one here. I always have this little 
blue bag with cosmetics and stuff. So I have like a uh, compact and I always have my Swiss Army knife because I'm always using the toothpick and concealer and nail filer and I got this uh, lotion bar here and eyeliner and that kind of stuff. All that makeup stuff's in there. And then in this little guy, which I love to just pull out from the front of my bag if I'm driving especially because this has my chapstick which I seriously use like all the time and my inhaler and I got some um, this is like a peppermint roll on peppermint that you use for migraines so this is like my medical thing it has I think a Tylenol which is empty and I have some vitamins in that little pill case it's my drop so that's sort of like emergency medical stuff I need to reach in a hurry I keep it in the mommy pouch in the front and I have that little strap on it so I can just yank it right out when I'm driving so I don't have to worry about having to pull over to, you know, some cure some asthma attack or something. So all that fits in this bag, which doesn't seem to be that big, <laughs> but it does hold a lot of stuff. So, yeah. Okay, the moment of truth. No, I'm not going to step on that scale. <laughs> uh, however. Ugh. Okay. Moment of truth. 15 pounds, you know, 15.2. So this is, uh, yeah, that's how much I carry around every day. It's like a, being pregnant with a really large baby. So the uh, the bag that was not part of the B set is called the Be Quick, and I paid $29 for that on Amazon. The B set was $51.78 for those three pieces. The backpack is called a Be Right Back, and that was $174. I got all those on Amazon as well as the wallet. Um, that was $61.96 on Amazon. There's also um, Facebook groups and stuff that sell these also, uh, for like second hand, and they have definitely retained their value considering some of the prices that people are wanting for their bags. So if you're interested in any of those, you can always check them out on Amazon. Or if you're from the States, you can just go to the GGB website. I did order from there back in 2011, but I cannot order there unless I'm a retailer now. Yeah, there's a page called Barla Banana Boutique, and they sell GGB products. I ordered a few more pieces to go with my set. My set is the Legacy um, set, and the Anchor one, that's the Admiral. So this one is the Navigator one. Uh, I think they have about four or five prints in that nautical series. I also ordered a hobo bag, <laughs> which hasn't arrived yet. But these were my Mother's Day presents to myself. The scale I got is from one by one and that was 36.99 that was on amazon.ca as well if you're interested in the scale